Welcome back everybody, this is the Matt Pierre Career Mode series and there are just four games left to go this year in a season that does not look like it's going to bring Matt Pierre back to the postseason. So let's continue on trying to get to the end of Matt's sixth year. Unfortunately, this is another season that is just not brought what we're looking for in this series. And on top of it, Pierre hasn't had the elite production that we've just become accustomed to. I mean, his numbers are great. They're still really good, but the numbers have gone down and the wins have not gone up. It's a bad combo. I'm sure Michael Thomas isn't enjoying his time here either. All these losses are not what he's used to from his days at Ohio State, that's for sure. So Pierre enters with a 4.0 yard per carry. That's not good because he's usually up in the higher fours of the fives. I don't want to see that drop into the threes. I can't handle that. Maybe Pierre and Michael Thomas can go somewhere as a package deal. Now that might get us to the playoffs if we go to the right team. Bulaga slides down here with a gain of six. Seattle not covering Pierre as Bulaga never looks his way. We still get the first down, but I'd say that's still a bad play. Let's try Matt here on the ground again, trying to cut up field. Nice little run there. Good finish by Matt Pierre right at the sticks. All right, third and short has not been kind to me lately in my videos. The last Matt episode had a bad call. The last Browns episode had a bad call. So we have to get them a bit more decisively. And then we miss a few plays, including a third down sack. Speaking of Seattle, I did forget to add in their offensive playbook again in this game. It's just weird that I have to go into the advanced settings menu or whatever to change playbook every single game. It's hard to remember. Float it out. Pierre was open. Now you're running out of time. What are you waiting for? Third and long for Colbu Laga. I bet he tries to run for it. He'll run a little bit and then drop it off to Willie Sneed, who won't get to the first down marker. Scoreless game here into the second quarter as we're going to have Matt out in the right flat. Bulaga, where you going? Backwards and sacked again. It's obvious I need to get Matt on a team that has a pocket passer that doesn't want to leave the pocket at any given opportunity. So find me someone with 55 speed or something. Come on, Cole! I know the quarterbacks can be competent. We've seen it from Anton Greenberry, especially in the Brown series. And I think Brock Wall in that series is also better than Bulaga. Another overthrow and intercepted by Earl Thomas! And he's gonna set up the Seahawks at the 40! Two-game episode again today. We have Koyak in now. It's 7-0. I mean, score isn't that bad, but Bulaga's play is the reason why we're here. Well, that's not good. Now we fumble the football away. So many mistakes with this team. 14-0. I don't think we're going to do anything well in this game. Showing blitz here. Koyak's got to throw quickly. Nice grab there by Clarence Tlaib. I'll miss Tlaib if we leave New Orleans, though. I do like him. Michael Thomas. I like the receivers on this team. I like Tron Armstead. But the quarterback isn't good enough, and the offensive line isn't complete enough. Here's Pierre out to the 41 with a good carry. Let's swing Matt Pierre out, run the wheel route as the catch is made, and that's Clarence Tlaib. Soon to be the face of the franchise after Pierre and Thomas get out of here. Oh, that's pretty funny. Matt Pierre, Michael Thomas, and they had Pierre Thomas, who was a running back, also caught the ball pretty well. You probably signed him and dropped him from your fantasy team at least ten times in the last decade. We're on the move though, and Koyak now, he's gonna run and pick up two. 
Blitz now from Seattle up top and the catch is made. It's Willie Sneed for the touchdown. Almost threw it out of his reach. What a great catch. Cuts this lead in half. Well, we didn't touch the football until now. And it's now 24-7. All right then. We missed a lot. How much? I'm not very sure. I'll check after this carry. Following the Sneed touchdown, we have Seattle running down the field pretty much exclusively, and they kick a field goal. And after that, wow, I missed all of that, and they score another touchdown. Fourth down and ten. We have Cole Bulaga in the game now, doing what Cole Bulaga does best. Fourth and 23 this time. Can we put Matt Pierre out in the slot and just let him run deep? See what happens? Let's do that. Pierre up the seam. Going long for him and it's overthrown. Just like Cole Bulaga to not give Matt a chance to make a play. That's game, everybody. It's going to be a two-game episode. We drop this one to the Seattle Seahawks to make us 5-8 and eight on the season. Not really sure what to say at this point because all these games are starting to blend in with one another. Just bad loss after bad loss. Cole Bulaga passes for 61 yards, just 61. And Matt Pierre only gets 48 on 10 carries with one catch for eight. Now we're up to take on the Carolina Panthers, hoping that maybe Matt Pierre gets a chance to make some more plays this time around. I know this season has been tough, but like I said, we're getting Matt's season done with this week. I want to know where he's going next. How long have we been waiting for Matt Pierre's 70th career rushing touchdown? Hopefully the wait ends today as we get started here with a gain of four. Let's see if Bulaga can play a little bit better as well. There's Clarence Tlaib making more plays. Now if we could somehow get Michael Thomas, Matt Pierre, and Clarence Tlaib as a package for a team to sign. That'd be fun. Give me blocks on the edge here, Pierre. Oh man, could not quite get free. Bulaga heading back to the air. And now it's Will Ty's turn to get us close to the first down marker. Tough frontier from Carolina, but we're getting the first down. Matt Pierre falls forward. And now from the 45. Okay, I'll try helping. And by helping, I mean I'll trip you. You can decide on your own if that was on purpose or not. And now Matt Pierre motions out as a receiver. Just going way downfield, and that catch is jarred free from Sneed. Get this first down, get us in range, Bulaga. The first is picked up and he slides down safely. Inside zone now, trying to spin out Luke Keekly, and that's just not going to work. I hope we can find the right team for Matt. Maybe we'll start doing some scouting here in one of these upcoming videos. All I can remember is that the Packers are pretty good, and their best running back is Ty Montgomery, who is about to be 30 years old, and Matt's much better. There's an incompletion. Nice hit. Panthers tough across the middle. Backed up, they say, at the one, more like the one and a half yard line. Let's try getting Matt here on the edge. It's a risky call, but maybe a big play. We'll get 10. We'll take it. Start of the second now, Bulaga drops it off, Willie Sneed. Let's go back to Pierre now, run into our own blocker. That's all part of the process, but still a good carry, up to 45 yards. Now out to the right flat, you can throw it to him, Bulaga. Or, that's a better idea, Willie Sneed, taking all the catches away from Michael Thomas. Where's he been? Matt Pierre's turn to go up the middle now. Thomas helps throw us a block. 
but Matt Pierre can't break free. Why don't we try catching him here with the deep pass. Bulaga, uh-oh, not a good decision, and he's going down back at the 48. So now third and long for Cole Bulaga. Has a couple options to leave Shia the sticks brought down. I think we go for it here, especially with eight losses. Let's move the chains, give ourselves a chance. Fourth and three, got it, and it's Michael Thomas. Three tight ends now in the game, letting the blocks get established. There's Keekly, but we keep getting like four at least at a time. Let's try running to the right side now. And here we go, Matt, for about three. Panthers only send three at us, and I think they made the stop. McKenzie was right there. Oh, man, I don't want to kick. So we take the three points. Now a one-point game late in the first half, and again, Panthers have us backed up inside our own five. Oh, we broke the tackle of Keekly, but still can't get anything. Run the wheel route, Matt. They're not going to cover him. He's going to be open right here. Bulaga instead runs. Third down and short. Oh, man, Pierre. Matt Pierre was open again with a block from Thomas. On to the third quarter now. It's 14-6, Carolina. I think we've ran the ball pretty well, but it's just not enough. Angle route now. Oh, nice catch by Matt. That's a four-yard play. Bulaga. He wanted to run immediately and then throws across his body. See, this is why Bulaga's not taking us where Matt needs to go. Still down by eight, and there is Luke Keekley making sure he doesn't miss Matt Pierre this time. Third down and six for Bulaga, and that throw is nearly intercepted by James Bradbury. Let's just try going deep to start this new possession, Bulaga. Or, you know what, we'll just let you run. That's what you want to do anyway. We'll try sweeping outside again, Pierre. Oh no, not working. Off the fake to Pierre. Now we're going deep across the middle and Isaiah McKenzie gets us inside the 10. We'll run it now from the I formation, trying to get Matt that touchdown. Nothing here. And we pitch it out to the right side. Pierre taken down yet again. So now it's third down and goal. There goes Cole Bulaga. All on his own. Touchdown, New Orleans. Trying to tie the game now with a two-point try, and the floater to Tlaib will do it. Oh, Carolina turned it over, didn't they? And now Tlaib on the edge gets us six. On second and four, up top now, and that would have been a pick if Bradbury got both feet down. So now one more try. Bulaga short. We'll have to kick the three. Or wait a minute, it's first down. I'm not sure what I was even thinking there. Maybe I thought it was goal to go or something. I don't know. But another chance at it here. Bulaga, no way. No way. He got it again. His second rushing touchdown. Another turnover. I'm not sure what's going up with Carolina here late in the game, but the Saints are in position to perhaps win this thing. Hello, Luke Keekley. Let's go out to the right now. Get a block on Keekley, and Pierre gets a few more. 
Third and three. And there goes Matt. I think he got the first, but Carolina uses a timeout. Oh, even though he got the first down. You can end this, Matt. Maybe right now. Diving in. No touchdown. He's marked down at the one. He was that close to getting in. We'll do it now. Touchdown, Matt Pierre. That's just his seventh rushing score of the season, but number 70 in his impressive career. The victory goes to New Orleans this time. We improved to six and eight on the season with just two games to go. And unless we win out and the Buccaneers lose out, we are not winning the division. In the victory, we see Cam Newton get three touchdowns and Matt Pierre just under 100 yards. Cole Bulaga, though, finds the end zone twice on the ground. So we have just two games left to go this season. Our next one is against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Then we face the Eagles. I want to see who some of the best teams in the league are and then go through some running back needs. Jaguars, Cowboys, I think they have Fournette and Elliott still. Packers, they have an opening potentially. Let's go see some rosters. Of course, remember it takes a team to offer to Matt Pierre first and foremost. Perhaps the Bengals will. Their best running back is Brian Hill. Maybe the Tampa Bay Buccaneers stay in the same division, play against the Saints. They have Jeremy Hill and Donnell Pumphrey. They still have Winston and Mike Evans with Chris Godwin, so the offense would be even better with Matt Pierre. Over in Indianapolis, they obviously replaced Matt Pierre with Mylon Verrett, and he has, in his time as a starter, actually done pretty well, especially this season with 12 touchdowns and 1,158 rush yards. Here are the Packers, like I mentioned before. Ty Montgomery is their top running back. They still have Aaron Rodgers. Maybe he retires, maybe not, but that could be an option. Either way, I hope that when we do become a free agent that Matt Pierre gets enough offers where it's a tough decision. With two games to go, here are the numbers. Over a 1,000 yards, but well under any other season he's had with two games left. Seven touchdowns on the ground. And in the air, he has surpassed his yardage from last season. That'll do it for this episode, everybody. Thank you for watching and supporting the Matt Pierre Career Mode series. Matt's days as a saint appear to be coming to an end, and we'll see what's up next. But first, we have to finish off this season. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.